Good morning, folks. We've got plasma filaments dancing around the limbs. We'll hit weather and top science news, but we're starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. And we see that the coronal holes continue turning through. The bright active region on the south spins in with them. We've had no solar flares or CMEs, but the solar wind intensified slightly over the last 18 hours and was short-lived, as in purple you can see the plasma speed came back down already. This is unlikely to be the core of the stream which should impact this weekend and should be a bit more intense than what we took over the last day. That tiny active region evaporated all the spots beneath it as you might recall. It is now just a bright field zone without much flare potential as of now. Let's move on to the weather. Lightning in Pakistan and India claimed nearly 50 lives between the two countries as a late season monster tore through the region on Friday. To the south of that, we saw a tremendous hailstorm in Nigeria take out dozens of homes, tearing them down to the ground in dramatic fashion. Of course, the cold and snow records continue falling in the United States. This is simply unseasonable, even for November. The jet stream dip should be easing up on us soon. And over the next 36 hours, we are going to finally see this typhoon, which has danced on the Philippine coastline all week, run ashore tomorrow. Eyes open there as it'll get severe. Let's go back to the sun because the good solar telescope came flexing with one of its first great new age videos showing how the Solar Dynamics Observatory has major competition. From the corona to the photosphere and also the chromosphere sitting between, we are not only getting some of the most detailed imagery ever taken of our star, but in their identification of spicules firing from the photosphere to the corona, they have identified one of the most likely candidates for the hot corona mystery. The spicules inject that energy into the plasma corona, and it can't really go anywhere. Up next, what happens before explosive volcanic eruptions? An excellent study of Mount Merapi found that its nearly constant light smoke emission will often silence itself before a major eruption. They have discovered that metal-rich gases can plug up the tiny venting holes and allow for a buildup of pressure. That lack of activity is in fact the calm before the storm. Folks, there's no sugar coating this one. Not much strikes fear into this observer, but for those who have heard our coverage of this mission for the last two years, you know we're not exactly excited about it. There's no way of knowing what sort of extremophile or dormant microbes their samples contain. There is no plan to study them on the ISS or anything like that. They are just going to Andromeda strain this thing down from the sky and hope they haven't brought anything scary back with them. Super. Folks, the Astrophysical Journal has finally published their early system paper that we saw on Archive a few weeks back, and it hits on the early galaxy and astrophysics problem of the cosmos where the galaxies, quasars, and protoclusters all seem to have come together too quickly based on their Big Bang model. Here, they are saying that the stars lived and died quickly, but now they have taken on the task of explaining why astrophysics didn't apply to them as we know it. Basically, they just made another problem for themselves. And now to our top story. It is official now, folks, that we have the third confirmation that galaxies orient themselves based on the cosmic filament that created and feeds them. The smaller galaxies tend to align with the filaments, while the high-mass galaxies tend to develop perpendicular, right-angle orientations to those same filaments. These cosmic highways represent a massive, low-amp, bulk current flow, and it's the key plasma cosmology structure operating plasma cosmology dynamics at large scale. Folks, the cosmology might not be as exciting to you as the climate science, the earthquake prediction, or Earth's catastrophe cycle, but it is the foundation of each. The forecasting works because of this science. The climate connections with our star require that electromagnetic paradigm, and the catastrophe cycle well, the trigger and in-event dynamics are both electromagnetically driven. Without the appropriate cosmology, they all fall apart. False signals and conclusions abound, and there is no means of getting to the truth. That's why plasma cosmology is so vital. Learn about it or its reality check on climate change and catastrophism with the three movies listed below this video in the box, also on our channel page and at suspiciousobservers.org. The three movies were meant to set the stage for this entire channel in one afternoon, which replaces the eight years of research coverage it took to get there. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.